Hello guys, this is Jagan from Capital Zone. In the last video, I had explained what are the ways by which I had been placing the orders since 2014 till now. In which I had explained what is basket order and how you can execute the basket order through your uh, trading terminal. In this video, let me explain how exactly I executed this basket order using Python program. Because my Python program will facilitate, uh, will generate Excel file by which I was able to place the order in single click. That I will explain. So before that, let's understand what is basket order. As I said in the last video, basket order is nothing but it's, it is a a combination of multiple orders it is a sequence of multiple orders list of orders you can place it could be for single client or it could be for multiple client or it could be for multiple strategy say for example you want to place order for three clients your account on your wife account this can be done through basket order the same thing like say for example you want to execute the iron fly so you have four legs right two legs sell two legs buy and that can be executed in uh, basket order which will execute the orders simultaneously so you will not have any problems at all so basket data is a wonderful feature you even you do only one account in which you are supposed to place multiple legs for a strategy right this can be done through the basket data if you don't do the basket data what will happen say for example short schedule you are supposed to sell 16,000 call and 16,000 put by the time you sell 16,000 call the market may come down and you are supposed to sell a different price for the put. Thus, any strategy you want to execute, you are supposed to execute simultaneously so that you will not face any slippages or execution problems at all. And what is the one single problem with a basket order? You can't do the bidding. And what is the bidding? Let me explain. Okay, what is bidding? Say for example, 16,000 call and put, short straddle, okay? Right now, the price is 400 rupees, combined price. You want to execute this one at 405. Because in Indra day, the straddle price may go to 402 or may come to 398, 398. like it will vary. But you want to execute this one whenever it comes to 405. It's called bidding. This bidding cannot be done in basket order. Basket order will not look for the premium. It is trying to execute all the orders in single click. But if you want to look at the combined premium, there is a separate algo software to which you are supposed to subscribe. If you want to know the details, you can call my team. Right. So now coming back to the basket order, one more powerful feature of this basket order is it can be exported or imported to the CSV file. Say for example, before the market hours, you can type what are the basket order you would like to have. You can save to some Excel file. You can import. Okay. And then whenever you want to use, you can always make use of that CSV file and you can execute the order at market hours. So that is a powerful feature. And this is a basket for order is a very basic feature with all the trading software. It's available with NES, Now, Odin, XTS or any other trading software. Most likely 99% you will have a basket order. So now, coming back to this. Let me explain what is my basket. So basket order is different, basket is different. Basket order is as part of the trading terminal. Basket is the concept what I have right now. My basket size is 7.5 lakhs. It means that, okay, it does not matter how much capital I have. I always trade for 7.5 lakhs. Why? Because my psychology will not get disturbed. Say for example, I need to execute the trade for 1 lakh, 1 crore rupees. And if I put the strategy for 1 crore rupees, my psychology will get disturbed. Say for example, if I get 1% loss, 
it's going to be one lakh loss my mind will think that one lakh loss is huge but if i monitor only 7.5 lakhs i will get 7.5 k loss this is called one percent loss so always look profit only for a basket size do not look for the overall mtm profit or mtm loss right now say for example my capital is 2.5 crores right now how much 2. Point, in fact 2.6 crores right now if i get two percent loss it's going to be 5.2 lakhs loss if i get 5.2 lakhs loss i will think that actually my life is lost but if i track only the one basket then my loss is going to be only 15k so being a big boy what you need to think you need to always trade for a basket and profit loss everything you need to check only for one basket and the same can be replicated for multiple basket so that's what exactly i do so now say for example if your capital is 15 lakhs then i am going to do two basket okay so that is the logic for every 7.5 lakhs it is one basket so if you have 15 lakhs it is going to be two baskets okay now today as of today how many basket i execute i will also show the real running position so that you will come to know how many baskets i have for my capital my capital is 2.6 crores if you if you divide by 7.5 lakhs why because this is one basket how many basket i have 34 basket i have so if i sell any options if i buy any options i always do 34 lots how did I come at this 34 lots? Total capital divided by 7.5 lakhs. So for Bank Nifty, it is going to be 34 into 25, it is going to be 850. So anytime I want to sell options either through basket or through algo, it is going to be 850. And for Bank for Nifty, it is how much? 34 into 50, it is going to be 1700. So now with this one leg, this is for one leg. And what is the basket size? 7.5 lakhs. How many lots I can do? With the bank nifty, I can do only 8 lots. Because with the hedging, the cost of bank nifty is going to be 90k. 90 to 80 to 90k. One set. Call and put with the hedging. So if I do 8 set, approximately it comes to 7.5 lakhs. My capital is over. Okay. And likewise, for Bank Nifty, I can do 12 lots. How? The, the approximate margin for Bank Nifty, uh, Nifty is 60K. So, it is close to 7.2 lakhs, which is close to my basket size. Okay. Good. Now, coming back to this uh, basket size, why I choose 7.5 lakhs? In fact, I choose my basket size from 5L to 10L based on the volatility and based on the lot size. Okay. So for example, the volatility is huge. Then I choose the higher uh, basket size, maybe 10 lakhs because I need more money for adjustments. And if the volatility is less, I'm going to decrease my basket size. Sometimes back I had 9 lakhs, 8 lakhs. Now we are in lowest one. So I chose 7.5 lakhs is the basket size so this is the theory behind my the basket size now i'll show you the real market uh, positions wherein i'll show you actually how many lots i had done uh, for each basket so hang on okay so before that okay before i show let me zoom it before I show anything uh, in the real market, let me explain my Python program. Okay, my Python program, this is not an automation. Okay, this will not execute any order. What it does, it is trying to execute a uh, yeah, Python program wherein it generates an Excel file for different script, different capital strategy, buy and sell, stop loss. It generate all possible csv file which i can give it for basket order i'll give an example okay say for example you want to generate you want to generate csv file for nifty and capital is 50 lakhs and strategy is 
शॉर्ट स्ट्रडल ठीक है and uh, when you say short straddle actually you are obviously going to sell okay and stop loss you if you are interested you can specify the stop loss if you are not interested you can specify the stop loss i generally have uh, four types of stop loss by default 100 200 like that i do 500 and expiry weekly expiry or monthly expiry strike price all strike price an option for both call and put if you give inputs like this it is going to generate for the nifty script for 50 lakhs using this 50 lakhs it will generate the quantity so in real time you don't need to mention any quantity at all because your quantity will be decided based on the configuration you give so based on 50 lakhs it is generates okay you can give the strategy like a short straddle lion flay iron condor whichever the strategy you can you want to generate you can do and buy and sell it does for both buy and sell straddle when you give buying a straddle and selling a straddle both it will execute okay and stop loss also you can mention if you are interested okay and expiry you want to execute only for one expiry or multiple expiry i'll show you the real uh, script how i execute then you will come to know and strike prices by default it pulls all the strike prices available in nsc okay on options for both call option and put option it it generates the excel file this program is called copy ratio okay and this copy ratio i am executing since 2018 till now okay it gives series of csc file okay that file i'll show you but but in recent times in recent times since i moved to algo okay 90% of my orders especially system trading is going through algo only the discretionary trading okay that is the mainly positional one okay it's done through copy ratio and this is also python and this is also python and this i will explain in a next video right now we are seeing this one okay so clear so now i hope i have done with the explain the theory part now let's move to the actual terminal okay let so this is the actual terminal so right now the market is going on you can check the timing right now right now it is 240 i don't know what is my profit and loss i'll show you in live okay um now let's go to the f11 admin positions let me check the profit and loss first of all i want i wanted to know so right now i'm seeing 12000 7000 rupees profit right now so change the font okay so right now it is in 2600 rupees profit 8000 profit it goes up and down but i don't need to worry because everything is placed in algo and uh, algo will take care of everything right you can check here and uh, go to uh, day wise positions and uh, net wise positions i had some overnight positions double calendar in nifty so that is giving a profit okay so now coming back to this right so this is 40k profit you can see this is both positional and in rad okay right and you can check the quantities here 850 is one basket ठीक है वाई एट फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इज थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर इंटू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सी आर दिस इज माई कैपिटल एंड दैट इज हाउ आई डिसाइडेड माई बास्केट साइज लाइक वाइज यू चेक द बैंक निफ्टी वी चेक ओनली द बैंक निफ्टी यू चेक फॉर निफ्टी एज वेल निफ्टी इट इज थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड ओके सो थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी इट इज थर्टी फोर थर्टी is 2.55 crores done so you have checked the live one how i have done my basket order so right now so we are done with the basket size let me show you how i generate this basket uh, csv file okay here you can choose the basket size it is 7.5 lakhs okay here it is a capital you can see 
and as soon as you put a capital automatically it will find out the volume for you okay for expiry for straddle for future everything it will try to find out what is the position size if you are putting 15 lakhs capital here automatically it does two lots okay okay so if you are if you are mentioning um, say for example 30 lakhs automatically it will choose four lots so let me give a demo so that you will understand let me choose that file one so go ahead and change this here let's change this um, seven lakh uh, uh, fifty thousand seven and a half lakhs uh, fifty thousand to say for example five lakhs if you choose automatically these values will change okay and if you so choose 10 lakhs automatically these values will get changed so let me choose 10 lakhs see here it is getting changed so this position size will decide okay how much quantity you are going to do for each each account and what is the size right now next and this i have a separate position size for positional intraday strangle bnf and everything right now i do we don't have much exposure so we do follow only this okay and do i need to run the script for nifty and bank nifty yes both you can choose here okay and what how many how many expiries you want to do say for example you want to run it for eight expiries you can choose and all the expiry details will be pulled from nsc website through web scrapping right and do you want to run only for positional what is the strategy you want to run if you don't specify any strategy it runs for all the strategies it's a very simple theory okay so that's what it does and and you can go here and go to nifty or bank nifty okay and this is the nifty con uh, bank nifty configuration you can check here Twenty five is the quantity size, and two thousand five hundred is the quantity freeze. Because above which you can't place the order in single. Say for example, you want to sell three thousand quantities. It is not possible with the single click. You need to place two orders: two thousand five hundred and five hundred. This is also done by this copy receive project. So all the inputs are given for the copy ratio project what are the inputs what is the basket size what is the bank nifty size nifty size what is your capital everything you are giving and what is the strategy you want to run how many expert you want to run what is the script you want to do once you configure everything we are going to run the copy ratio uh, uh, python project so that it is going to generate the csv file that can be uh, uh, exported to a trading terminal this can be done with any software because csv file is nothing but a text file so this text file can be generated with the java can be generated with the c c plus plus or any programming language uh, you can do this csv file can be generated and this is not python dependent okay so you can, but i had written everything in a python right so um can you launch pycharm So this is the Python program. So what we have done, this is a simple program. We are going to run, that's it. If you are running here, it is because everything we have configured in Excel file. All the inputs we have configured in Excel file and that would be taken by this copy ratio project and then we'll, gener we'll start generating CSV file. Can you click this one? I will generate another folder, right? That's fine, okay. Can you go to the folder? folder yeah so look at here actually it is generating the csv file yes and this is the uh, yeah go inside the folder this is the new folder created by this copy ratio you can check here this is will contain only for expiry this is for future this is for positional strategy trend following right and likewise it generates csv file for each strategy so that you can 
specifically upload the start csv file you don't need to worry about anything else right so go into positional i'm sorry and go inside bank nifty and this is 29th of july it is a expiry okay and expiry can you click on it so we have run this script only for one expiry that is the reason why it shows only one folder okay and you want to buy or sell okay so let's go to the sell side because i always do sell options and look at the csv file you have for each strike prices 30000 call 30000 put so can you open any csv file it opens it has a list of orders for multiple clients for multiple the same start if 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 strategy contains two lots it contains everything so by this which you will this is the format what this is the format what a trading software is looking for this format will be different for now will be different for next xts odn accordingly you need to generate the csv file that's it okay so once you generate this csv file this you can upload to the trading terminal and trade so let's check that as well okay right so can you open a trading terminal the real trading terminal right so as i said before you know actually how to place the basket order right can you go to the basket order yes basket order okay now wait wait now there are two options option one you need to keep adding the entries manually option two you need to enter in pre-market and save to the export list so that it will be there in csv but we are not going to do all these things what we are going to do we are going to choose the file what we are going to we are going to choose the csv file and execute so can you open the browse and go to sell bank nifty okay 37 call it's a real trade what we are doing for multiple accounts okay you can check okay 37 call so 29th sell okay it seems like the files are getting generated right now you need to wait for uh, uh, some more minutes let's check it for any other strike price say for example uh, what is the strike price is right now available 33 call is available okay 33 put is available right okay open it okay so now we have loaded this 33 put can you right click and apply ltp because right now it is in market order right now so you need to right click and apply ltp so this is what it is going to sell so this is 8.4 rupees it is trying to sell it right so now can you place the order can you place the order yes done so can you go to f3 yes can you go to f3 so right now you are seeing f3 because in another display so now it is coming so you can check here uh, it got rejected because of the margin issue so that you can find out and for some uh, some account actually where the margin is free actually it is executing this 8.45 but it is not fully automated it is a kind of it is not even automation it is really helping you to minimize your task that's what the copy ratio project it is doing so now let's go to the uh, real positions so f11 so admin positions let's going and checking the profit right now it's what's time is so 253 right so interested to know the profit right so <laughs> so go to that f11 yes okay 
so right now we are in profit of 44k right so now whatever the order we are executed the real term we are going to reverse it back because i have done only for demo purpose let me reverse it back so go to this and then order by the short because we have done this for 8.6 rupees this 8.6 you can choose and then square off i can mention 8.6 and square off uh, that's it done guys you may be super brilliant you may be having better idea but when it comes to trading and business you need to know how efficiently you need to use the tool and then only actually you can do things in faster way so copy ratio was one milestone for me because within single click actually i was able to do a multiple orders for multiple uh, accounts it was quite easy now even i am avoiding that single click i have moved to the algo trading wherein it does the intraday completely for me so if you are re really keen in understanding the intraday strategy whatever i do right now there is a um, workshop planned in the 8th of next month so you can subscribe there i hope this video is really he uh, helpful and thanks for watching i'll be back with one more video soon